Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to share with you 10 of my tips on how you can save money this winter on your heating bills, ways that you can prevent heat loss from your home and ways that you can be more efficient with your energy usage. And if you did find this video useful, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any of your own tips, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. So at number one is LED light bulbs. I've recently upgraded all of my light bulbs to LED style light bulbs, very low energy consumption, and they replace the old incandescent and fluorescent bulbs. So if you have these bulbs in your home, you might want to consider upgrading to LED. Uh, the technology these days is really good. They're very low. These are 1.8 watts but they still offer quite a lot of brightness compared to some of the older LEDs in the past. So the technology is pretty good now. And you'll save quite a bit throughout the winter. So number two is to insulate your loft hatch, something that's often overlooked because um, you might not think twice about the hatch, but a lot of heat leaks up through there. And uh, you can see I'm doing mine here. Uh, mine was an old piece of wood and I've added some polystyrene insulation and then sealed it all with aluminium tape to um, increase the energy efficiency there of the hatch. So at number three we've got weather stripping for windows and doors and this is like a spongy foam and when you close a window or a door it squishes it together and creates an airtight seal to stop drafts you can see here I'm using it on my sliding door and I'm just peeling the back off. It's got a sticky back and adding it into the channel where the door meets the frame. And that should stop any draft getting through that area. So at number four, we have uh, draft excluders. These are good to add around a door. You can nail them on and they have like a, a gasket, like a, um, a rubber gasket that squishes up against the door and creates an airtight seal. This is on my front door, so it stops any drafts getting in. So at number five, um, using cork to fill any gaps or cracks. This is an acrylic uh, interior cork and you just put it in a gun and this one is for exterior use, a silicon based one. So you can use uh, either for inside your home like here to fill in cracks around doors and window frames and you can also do the same thing on the outside too. And this will prevent cold air mixing with the warm air in your home. Number six is installing some thick thermal curtains. I've recently upgraded my curtains. Um, I've bought the heaviest, thickest, best quality ones I can just to help insulate the rooms. And these should keep out the cold air around your window. At number seven, um, using a smaller kettle. So my idea with this is if you have a smaller kettle, you're less likely to accidentally boil too much water. You can see my, uh, my old kettle was a normal size kettle. I've gone down to a one liter kettle just to prevent me from accidentally boiling more water than I need and wasting energy. At number eight, um, turn off any electronics that you're not using, such as your TV. That little red light means that it's on standby and that is actually using energy. 
all the time. So switch it off. And the same goes for things like your Wi-Fi at night. You can switch it off if you're not using it. Number nine is to use a thermostat on your heating just so that your heater doesn't give out more heat than required. You can set your thermostat and then the heater will switch off when the room is at the temperature that you want. And at number 10, um, open your curtains during the day to let light in and to let any warmth in from the sun so that you can capture some of that free heat from the sun during the day. So that's about it for this video. 10 tips on ways to save on your heating bills this Christmas. If you have your own tips, please leave them down below. There's obviously probably hundreds of tips that you can add. So everybody watching this video might be interested to see what your tip is. So if you did find this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.